major Hollywood strike has been averted. The Directors Guild and Top Studios reaching a tentative deal on a new contract late last night. KTLA's Annie Rose Ramos is live in our newsroom this morning with the latest details. Annie Rose, good morning. Alina and Pedro, good morning. Well, this is a three year deal directors have made not only with the studios, but also with some of the top streaming companies coming to a tentative agreement only just last night. So what's in this deal? It brings a bump to wages and benefits along with an agreement about artificial intelligence that says AI cannot replace the duties performed by people. And another big part of this deal revolves around streaming platforms with directors pushing to get streaming residuals based on how many subscribers streaming their shows around the world. And we want to go straight to a statement from Lika Gladder, president of the DGA, who says in part, quote, this deal recognizes the future of our industry is global and respects the unique and essential role of directors and their teams as we move into that future. As each new technology brings about major change, this deal ensures that each of the DGA's 19,000 members can share in the success we all create together. And this tentative deal with directors is made as the Screen Actors Guild, or SAG-AFTRA, begins their negotiations with studios this Wednesday. They could be facing their own strike with members in the midst of voting on a strike authorization. Actors speaking out about it all. I'm a proud member of SAG-AFTRA. And I'm asking you to join me in voting yes on the strike authorization. A yes vote is not a vote to strike. It just means that we give the national board the power to strike if the AMPTP does not give our members the essential contract improvements that they need. Now, all of this comes during a Writers Guild strike that lasted for just over 33 days. It's still going on with show writers fighting for some of the same things directors got the studios to agree to, especially from those big streaming companies. Now, this DGA deal could mean compromise on some points for the WGA. However, last Thursday, WGA sent a letter to their members that said they are reasserting their position and standing firm in their strike, no matter if other unions including the DGA, agree to a new contract. Riders speaking out to us from the picket line. If they think they can wait us out, I mean, if they think they can do it without us, like, can Ford do it without cars rolling off the assembly line? You know, <laughs> like, we make the product they sell. Maybe they've got a little bit in the can. It's going to run out very quickly. And this tentative agreement will be submitted to the Guild's National Board for approval at a special board meeting this Tuesday. And that is when we'll receive further details on this deal.